Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Um, right now, we're looking at a chart of the gold futures contract, gold spot. Taking a look at um, how the market momentum has been moving on the, the last several days here. Basically, we have a situation where we did manage to to, uh, to close up eight dollars and twenty cents, uh, up zero point six zero percent. As prices closed higher than they opened, with strong bids going into the close. However, we do have uh, what we call a hammer, and a hammer is a strong lower shadow, and it closes near the high, which is what we have here. And the hammer must appear after a significant decline, which we had here. Okay. And this usually happens when prices are oversold uh, to be valid, which we had around here, this previous bar. And when this occurs, it usually indicates the formation of a support level and is thus considered a bullish pattern. Okay. Now, we also have a situation where you can view this as uh, a hanging man. And a hanging man is a very long lower shadow and a small real body. This pattern can be bullish or bearish, depending on the trend. Well, the trend here is, is, is very bullish. If it occurs during an uptrend, which appears to be the case right now, it is called a hanging man line, and it signifies a reversal top. If it occurs during a downtrend, it is called a bullish hammer. A long lower shadow is the thing we want to focus on. This is typically a bullish signal particularly when it occurs near a low price level which we had the previous bar support and at the support level we we see that the security is considered oversold now we talk about a, a spinning top that's a candle with a small real body and spinning tops identify a session in which there is little price action as defined by the difference between the open and the close during a rally or near new highs the spinning top can be a sign that prices are losing momentum and that the bulls may be in trouble. So to sum it all up, just looking at candlestick analysis, you can say that we're at a crossroads here. Gauging the market sentiment, we have a pulse scan reading of negative 7.53. The market pulse is negative since it's trading below its zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a Dow trend channel as of seven periods ago. We do have a rally alert uh, for Monday's trading, or actually Sunday night into Monday's trading. Uh, we have a short-term market bottom, so a possible breakout is likely due to strong market pulse projections. The swing VIX is not currently in a topping or a bottoming pattern, and the last signal was an overbought sell 47 periods ago. The swing VIX has just reached its lowest value in the last 14 periods. So this is bearish. The swing VIX has set a new 14 period low, while the securities price has not. This is a bearish divergence. Since the post scan leads the market three to five days out, we will wait to see if downside pressure actually develops. So again, we do have a rally alert for Sunday night into morning. Since the last swing VIX signal, uh, gold's price has decreased 0.28% and has ranged from a high of 1400 and seven dollars and sixty cents an ounce to a low of one thousand three hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty cents an ounce looking at momentum currently the trend is very bullish as you can see here and gold is still under heavy accumulation and the bullish trend is st still strong as you can see the support here all right looking at our intraday price projections for sunday night into monday's trading we have resistance at uh, one thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars and seventy four cents support at thirteen sixty eight seventy five so wait to see where we close if we close below the support that it sets up the bearish tone to uh, trade within back within the the bullish cool cloud here if we close above the resistance area then it sets the tone for another run at the highs here uh, above the fourteen hundred dollar level our weekly post wave price projections are resistance at 1407.60 and support at 1372. Okay, now turning our focus to um, the 
we can, the monthly price projections we do have a uh, 12 to 18 month price target of $1,818.40 an ounce and our long term trend line support is currently at $1,237.44 so we still have a lot of uh, bullish momentum in the market that can sustain quite a substantial pullback and still be considered a bullish formation. Um, our monthly price projections for phase one, two, and three. Phase one is 24 to 36 months. The price target is $2,205.71. Our phase two, 42 to 60 month price target is $2,593.02. And in phase three, 72 month plus price target is $2,980.33 per ounce. Now finally looking at volatility. Uh, we do have a situation where we closed above the lower band by 42.5 percent. This combined with a steep downtrend suggests that the downward trend in prices has a good chance of continuing if we just based it on volatility. However, a short-term pullback inside the bands is likely. So again, we're at a crossroads where we have had negative swing VIX as indicated by the red candles here and blue candles uh, signify a a bullish swing VIX. So we've been in a bearish one. Um, the last time you saw we did bounce off trend line support and rally to new highs and that's what we expect to happen again here. So we'll see what happens Sunday night into Monday morning. Thank you for tuning into this edition of Volcker Report. Remember to take what you can and give nothing back. Okay now switching our attention over to silver. There's a word on the street that they're going to raise the um, the margin requirements for the silver futures contract again making it like twenty thousand dollars a contract they're really trying to squeeze out the little guy from being able to trade in the precious metals because they know that the plans for them ultimately after crashing prices as much as they can is to rally it to the moon and that is the ultimate goal regardless even with the JP Morgan short position hype I still believe that that is part PSYOP and that what they really want to do is they want to corner the market by buying up all the precious metals, gold and silver as they can. I do not believe that they're just shorting the metals to keep the price low. I think that they want to, uh, their whole goal was to uh, collapse the market so that they could buy it. So even if they did have a massive multi-billion dollar short position, I believe it was only uh, in efforts to try to crash the prices to a certain point so that they could buy up uh, 10 times to 100 times as much as more as the short position. It's an old trick on Wall Street. That was back before they had the, the type of circuit breakers they have in place now and before the electronic market, the emergence of the electronic markets and before the global market uh, schematic that they put together where if you wanted to buy something you would sell first to bring down the prices and then you go in and you buy. Just, a, just an old, old hat, just a new way of doing it in the new electronic uh, era that we're in. Anyway, let's get to the uh, the technicals real quick. Okay, <clears throat> as of Friday's close, silver um, changed up uh, basically uh, 35 cents to 1.24% uh, prices closed higher than they opened with strong bids going into the close. And we have a spinning top, and a spinning top is a candle with a small real body. Spinning tops identify a session in which there's little price action as defined by the difference between the open and the close. And during a rally or near new highs, a spinning top can be a sign that prices are losing momentum and that the bulls may be in trouble. Looking at sentiment, we have a pulse scan reading of 16.30. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed above the swing VIX, creating an uptrend channel as of two periods ago. We also have a rally alert on silver for Sunday night into Monday's uh, trading. Short-term market bottom possible breakout is likely due to strong market pulse projections. The swing VIX is not currently in a topping or bottoming range. The last signal was an overbought sell eight periods ago. And since the last swing VIX signal, silver's price has increased, I'm sorry, decreased 0.38% in its range from a high of 29.25 to a low of 28.40. Uh, we do have our intraday price projections for Sunday night into more into Monday. Uh, the resistance is around 29.13.75 and support at 28.86 and a quarter. Our weekly pulse wave price projections for silver 
is 29.76 and a half and support at 28.01. Uh, in addition to that, we do have our monthly price projections, our phase one 24 to 36 month price target uh, for silver is $62.42. Our phase two 42 to 60 month price target is $78.29. And our phase three 72 month plus price target is for $94.15, with all things being equal. And again, it is a rare occurrence to get silver to its uh, phase two or phase three uh, price projections. That is pretty uh, rare indeed. Uh, as for volatility, we did close below the upper band by 32.8%. And again, the rumor mills. Uh, Concerning the uh, manipulation of the of this, the contracts, looks like the exchange could be in cahoots with uh, J.P. Morgan to raise these um, these margins to 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 block many people from trading. We'll have to see how this all plays out. It is coming toward the Christmas holidays and then toward the end of the year. This is normally when there is extremely light volume and hardly anyone participating. But be warned that on extremely light volume days, especially during the holidays, sometimes the markets do set records for for highs and low prices, normally on the high prices. Back in 2008, don't forget, the Dow futures did move 1,200 points to the upside in one trading day. So we don't know what can happen. Just be prepared for anything. And don't forget, too, you can also trade uh, if you can't trade the futures contract, the big one that you're used to, you can trade the uh, the, mic, the the E mini silver and gold, or you can trade gold and silver spot through forex accounts, uh, especially with O and A. It's a good place to uh, to trade it, and you don't need uh, the, the amount of money that you would need to trade the futures contract. Okay, and you get the same bang for your buck, except for you have more control over the risk. So those are just some alternatives. Also, you can trade uh, the ETFs like uh, ticker symbol SLV. You can trade the shares outright, or you can go into the calls. Same thing uh, with the uh, the double uh, silver or the alt ultra silver contract AGQ. Uh, you can trade that and get more bang for your buck too. Or you can go into the options market on AGQ and, and, and buy calls. A lot more pricey than SLV, but those are some options. So you do have options as far as trading the markets themselves. And, of course, for you uh, gold and silver bugs, we already know what you're going to do. You're going to continue to buy and accumulate the, the coins and bullion and all that stuff. So, anyway, be encouraged. See you all at the Black Ops trading room on Sunday night. Take what you can. Give nothing back.